In this video, I'm going to show you how you can lock in at least £1,000 in profits from the Royal Ascot Festival, which is coming up very, very shortly. So hey guys, thanks very much for clicking onto my video. If you're brand new to my channel, hi there, my name's Liam and I'm teaching people how they can make lots of money online from match betting using the tips and tricks that I've accumulated over the last few years from doing match betting myself. So if you like my content at any point, please do hit the like button on this video. And if you want mine, hit the subscribe button as well. That'll give you the videos that I release as soon as they're released. And it helps me out massively here on YouTube. And it's much appreciated. So thanks very much in advance if you do decide to subscribe to my channel. And on top of that, if you want to join up with my brand new Facebook group that I've recently just created, um, which I just drop hints and tips for extra places, the two up offer, all that kind of stuff, into that Facebook group, feel completely free to do so by clicking the link just below the video in the description of this video and that link you to my Facebook group. Request to join, I'll accept anybody that requests to join the group and then you can look at the content, communicate with other members of the group and so on and so forth. So it's a great little community for all those match betters. Anyway, so Royal Ascot is right on the horizon now and this is a big festival with big opportunities for match betters to lock in some big profits. There's lots of interest from the recreational gambling side of things, lots of volume, lots of liquidity on the Betting Exchange. Everything that a match better needs is right here at the Royal Ascot Festival. So it's really good for us match betters. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use all those things to lock in at least a thousand pounds in profits. So without further ado, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over my compute screen and explain in detail what I'm gonna be doing at the Royal Ascot Festival to earn at least a thousand pounds in profits. So let's jump over the compute screen let's get started. Okay, so let's jump right in and let's look at the main things you're going to need to lock in at least a thousand pounds in profits. Now this list is built so you can be as efficient as you possibly can with your match betting. Waste no time, have a really good solid understanding of what you're doing, when you're doing it, why you're doing it, you know, as quickly as possible so you don't have to waste time and things like that, which we don't want and it can be a little bit overwhelming when you're doing your first festival, not knowing where to lock and things like that. Uh, so the first thing you want to do before the festival even starts and so many people overlook this and they forget about it or whatever they don't take preparing the match betting seriously which you need to if you want to be really profitable in match betting you want to get your balance distributed appropriately so you need to put the appropriate money in the appropriate places it's no good a day before the festival having 95% of your bankroll your match betting bank in your betting exchange and bits of money scattered throughout different bookmakers you know, you're not going to be able to make any profits because all your money is stuck in the betting exchange. It can take a day or two to come out and you've lost a day or two of profit from the festival. So it's important to distribute your money appropriately before the festival even starts. So the, the setup, the preparing is, is before the festival. You need to get prepared for it. Um, so the way I do it, the way I always set my percentages up and things like that, I put 50% of my match betting bank into my betting exchange as this is where... Uh, the, the main money is going to be needed. You're going to be placing lay bets here, tying up liability. You need the, the big bulk of your match betting bank to be in your betting exchange. Now, if you're using Betfair and Smirkits, which I use both of them because I do quite a lot of play serves on Betfair and stuff like that, especially at big festivals, you've got to distribute that 50% between the two betting exchanges and weight the, the, the larger portion of the percentage towards the betting exchange that you, you use the most and you prefer, which for a lot of people will be Smirkits because of the 0% commission. So 50% within your betting exchanges, 30% of your bankroll, your match betting bank, in your Bet365 account. Um, Bet365, without a shadow of a doubt, are the best bookmaker out there for offers and extra place opportunities and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty predominantly going to be with Bet365, and this is where the big bulk of your money is going to be coming from. So you want to be putting a third, just under a third of your match betting bank in your, in your Bet365 account waiting to be you know, place bets with. So 30% of your bankroll in Bet365. And then the final 20% is going to be inside your match betting bank. So, you know, your Sterling Bank, Monzo, whichever bank you use for match betting, you want to just leave 20% of it there so you can distribute the money to wherever it needs to be whenever an offer comes up. So if a Skybet offer comes up, you can pop some money in Skybet or another bookmaker pops some money in there and uh, you know, for extra places, a free bet offer, or whatever it is, you've just got that money in your match betting bank and it can be distributed wherever it needs to be, as quickly as it needs to be, nice and easy, nice and stress-free. So that's the main thing you want to be focused on before the festival even starts. And a lot of people don't do this and they get freaked out and they can't do the festival, they can't get enough money out of their exchange in time. It's a really good idea to be prepared before the festival even starts. So a quick example of that, if you're using a £5,000 bank, £2,500 would be 
within your betting exchanges or betting exchange depending on how many you use 1500 would be in bet365 as i mentioned bet365 is the best bookmaker and the most opportunities do come with bet365 um, and then a thousand pound within your your match betting bank as well just so you can distribute it wherever it needs to be whenever it needs to be there. and obviously those would be the figures for a five thousand pound bank maybe you've got more and you could use larger figures or less using a smaller bank roll you just make the figures smaller but you get the idea the weight of the money how it's distributed is very important uh, when you're doing your match betting uh, so before I jump in any further, I just want to say I'll be mentioning OddsMonkey quite a lot. OddsMonkey is the match betting service I use. Many of my viewers will already know this. I talk about it all the time. It's a fantastic uh, piece of software. It's 20 quid a month if you do decide to use it full time and get a premium membership with it. Uh, but I do have a free trial down below in the description of this video. Uh, if you do upgrade your account from that free trial, I do get a commission. It's very much appreciated. I use it every day and it makes me a lot of money. Uh, using OddsMonkey when my match betting so feel free to check that out you will need a, a big match betting provider to be profitable at Royal Ascot it's pretty much a certainty that you do need a match betting provider so if you are going to try OddsMonkey and try using a new match betting provider or try using your first match betting provider please do use my link it's very much appreciated and I'll leave the link down below this, this video in the description of this video so cheers guys for using that link if you do decide to give OddsMonkey a try um, but what you want to be focused on uh, not a great deal of your time and attention, but you want to be focused on the smashing in the low hanging fruit uh, and like the free bet offers. I mean by that, there'll be quite a lot of them. There always is at big festivals, and the low hanging fruit, the free bet offers, are really easy. They're just generally the bet X, get Y. So bet ten pounds on this horse race, get twenty pounds on the next horse race. Or sometimes they'll be like bet ten pound on a horse. If the horse wins, you get a twenty pound free bet on you know another race or something like that. In that case, the qualifying losses will have to be kept really small um so what i'd do i'd load up the daily offer calendar on odds monkey have a look at it every couple of hours or something like that you do it by just clicking offers on the top menu click on daily offer calendar it lists all the offers and then just blast through each offer that's profitable or each offer that could be profitable make sure you take a small qualifying loss uh, and you'll be surprised how much money you can make really quickly from these uh, low-hanging fruit type offers these free bet offers is it going to blow the bank away you're not going to make loads of money from it but it's a good little boost a boost of profits and stuff like that and i would recommend doing that um also along with with free bet offers check the racing matcher loads of people don't use the racing match and it's a really good uh, software that odds monkey have and it just filters all the most popular horse racing offers it's similar to the odds match but it filters all that criteria for each uh, horse racing offer so like the four to one offer with bet 365 different offers with different bookmakers and stuff like that the, the popular ones what are recurring they go all the time um, you can use the, the racing matcher to do the hard work, the vast majority of the work for you in just like two clicks. So the racing matcher is really good. And specifically for this offer, which I just touched on a minute ago, and this is where a lot of my money comes from as well. The, uh, the 4 to 1 or 5.0 offer from Bet365. So what, how that works is you back a horse with a bookmaker at 4 to 1 or above, which is 5.0 in decimals. You lay the horse on the betting exchange for a small qualifying loss. And the racing match you can refresh continuously until you get a qualifying loss really small. But you back the win with a bookmaker, horse of 5.0 or above. You lay the win on the exchange, 5.0 or above. You place a up to £50 back bet with a bookmaker. And if that horse wins, you get a risk-free bet on the next race. So it's like a refund offer on the next race. So if you back the horse, horse wins, you get a £50 risk-free bet on the next race. And then you can just use the risk-free bet calculator on Odds Monkey to lock in a guaranteed profit. Uh, from that that refund offer so really simple offer but the liabilities can get a little bit high with this offer because obviously you're going to be backing at 5.0 or above and laying at about the same odds as well so the liability can get a little bit large but you can get around that by if you don't have that money in your balance you can get around that by using smaller stakes it's up to 50 pound you can bet with the bet 365 offer so you don't have a massive liability you can use like 25 pound stakes which will bring down the liability on the exchange as well so the four to one offer is a lot of value in that it's probably the biggest horse racing offer that is out there along with extra places as well uh, and speaking of extra places it was only a matter of time before i dropped extra places into this video because extra places for anybody who's anybody in match betting and anybody who's really profitable and one of the, the high earners with match betting is doing extra places this is where the money is specifically in horse racing and absolutely 100 percent specifically at big festivals extra places is where the money is um 
So there's a screenshot of the extra place matcher, which is worth the weight in gold. It's one of my favourites. It's my favourite uh, tool that Odds Monkey have. You can see it lists everything that you need in all the different columns. It's super easy to use. It might look a little bit confusing at first, but I do have a video on YouTube, which you can check out if you want to learn more about how extra places work and how the extra place offer an extra place matcher works as well. Um, but extra places are really really where you want to be focusing your energy the bulk of your attention the bulk of your energy needs to be on extra places and with big horse racing festivals like royal ascot you can get on places extra places quite a way out before the start of the race in a lot of occasions which i know a lot of people generally you can only do it in the last five four or five minutes uh, down to post time and a lot of people get freaked out because it's moving dead fast and you've got to be used to what you're doing and confident with what you're doing but with this generally it's a lot slower and you can get on things a lot uh, you know in your own time and your own pace and stuff like that hours before the actual race is start in some cases it's hard to say when this is applicable but sometimes at big meetings and big festivals this is an option and you can get on extra places way before the start of the race when it's much calmer and the odds aren't flying around like crazy um, so I've got a video coming out soon. It'll just be just before the uh, the actual festival itself, which you should definitely, definitely, definitely check out. And it's basically it's going to be walking you through the four extra place strategies, because uh, there's four extra place strategies you can use. And each race, each market has a different strategy, which is applicable to it. But this video will walk you through all the strategies, which uh, characteristics to look for, and which markets, and which strategy to apply, and which horse race to make maximum. Profits at the festival, so you really need to check that out when it does come out, which again, it will be before the festival, so make sure you don't miss that, so you've got a good, firm understanding of which extra place races to get on, and which strategies to use on which extra place races. Um, so I'm just going to throw in a little bonus here, a few bonus tips for the festival, which will help you out massively, and it's something to really bear in mind as well. Um, avoid two-ups. As far as I'm aware, the football season will probably be finished by the time the festival rolls around. Uh, I know the uh, championships already finished, League One, League Two, they've already finished. I think the Prem's got a couple of games left or something like that. But the Euros may be sort of colliding with, with this festival as well. But what I would say, unless you've got a massive bankroll and you can put loads of money into your match betting, I would avoid two ups because the money can move around really quickly with two ups. So if your lay bet loses on the betting exchange, all the money goes to your bookmaker account or your bookmaker's bet loses, all the money goes to your exchange and you're going to have that imbalance which is going to be really frustrating. It's going to really affect your profits uh, from match betting at the Royal Ascot Festival. So avoiding two ups, although it can be really tempting and if a good match comes through or something like that, just avoid them just for this short period of time to maximise your profits from this festival. They don't come around every day, these festivals. When they do, there's loads of low-hanging fruit from all kind of offers. You need to be getting on it. And you need to be avoiding all other offers like the two-up offer. Um, next up, placing some mug bets before Ascot. A lot of people, they just have their accounts dormant for a long period of time. And then a big festival comes up and they herb their accounts like crazy. So they do every herb, herbing opportunity under the sun, every extra place they can get on, every price boost. You know, four to one off with Bet365 go at it like crazy and then the festival ends and then they don't do anything again. So doing that will give you a big chance of getting good right. You're doing nothing, it comes to the big festival and you just smash it like crazy. So just doing a couple of mug bets before the start of the festival can help just make you look like a recreational punter who's getting a little bit eager, a little bit excited for Ascot. Uh, and I just recommend doing some mug hackers because hackers are really poor value. So just back an hacker with a bookmaker Lay it on some markets on the betting exchange for a small qualifying loss. Do a couple of them just before the build-up. Take a few qualifying losses, nothing major. Uh, just to get your account primed and get your account ready uh, for the festival. So when you come in and you start smashing the offers and stuff, it looks pretty natural. You don't have to do that, but in my opinion, mug betting does help prolong bookmaker accounts. And I do have a video coming out in the near future which will uh, explain a little experiment I did with mug betting and whether or not I think it works and to what degree and stuff like that. So check that out. That's a really good watch. It will be coming up soon uh, on the channel. But placing mug bets before Ascot's a really good trick. I would recommend doing that as well. Um, combined liability as well is really important. And combined liability often, I find, separates people who are okay, who are decent at match betting, make a little bit of profit, to the people who are really good, really successful at it and make quite a lot of profit, especially at big racing festivals. And combined liability, I will make a video on this at some point, but what it is, it's essentially you know, what it says on the tin. 
Uh, when, you're back, when you're laying horses on the betting exchange, only the largest liability that you have is needed in your account balance. So all the liabilities that you have below the largest liability on the largest horse aren't required because the exchange knows only one horse can win the race and it can just use that largest liability to pay out whichever horse wins and therefore you lose your lay bet. If the top one wins, obviously you just lose all your liability, but if one of the lower horses wins, which have a smaller liability, it can just take the largest liability from the top horse, uh, pay, pay the smaller horse liability out and then just give you back, refund you back the difference. And the same with place markets as well. If you're laying in the top four place market, the top four liabilities will be needed laying in the top five place market, top five liabilities will be needed. Uh, so combined liability is a really, really good trick. It's one of the oldest tricks in the book when it comes to match betting, but it can is the difference between making decent profits and making really large profits. Um, next up, price boost. And again, there is a little bit of profit with these. You're not going to make mega money, but at big festivals, bookmakers will generally allow bigger stakes. Obviously, there's always a max stake because they don't want people urban them and taking too much money off them. But generally, they can, you can get like £200 backstakes, a limit of £200 backstakes with a bookmaker. And if you're backing high and you're laying low on the betting exchange, uh, you're locking a guaranteed profit. Uh, so if you want to learn more about price boosts, if you're brand new to them, you don't really know how they work, I'll leave a card in one of the corners of this video. That'll just explain how price boosts work. But essentially, the bookmaker boosts their back odds. The back odds go higher than the lay odds on the exchange. When that happens, when the back odds are higher than the lay odds, you guarantee a profit, regardless of what happens. So price boosts are really... Great way of locking in some profits. And finally, I'd recommend joining the Profit Pineapple Facebook group. Um, obviously, this is a growing community. People in there who are match betting themselves, trying to make as much money as they can. It's a friendly community. Uh, you can ask people um, any questions that you have when the festival's on. Obviously, people will be at work, and it is during the week as well, so they'll be match betting themselves. Uh, but you can ask and either I'll get back to you or someone in the community will get back to you and solve any problems and queries that you've got uh, regarding your match betting. So I'd recommend joining the Profit Pineapple Facebook group as well. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video, guys. Um, hope that gives you a better insight into how how to uh, to be as efficient as you can. It's very important to have your bank all set out appropriately, getting on the right offers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if you if you if you enjoyed this video, please do tap the like button. It takes me quite a while to make these videos, plan them out, make the presentations and stuff like that. And if you want my hand and you enjoy the content I make, please do hit that subscribe button. It does help me out massively and it'll give you the videos as soon as I upload them to YouTube, which is good for you guys as well. And yeah, all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching this video. Really appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you soon and I wish you all luck in the world at smashing in some big profits at the Royal Ascot Festival.